Hello world, it's Amasi Sparks. So we've been having a lot of fun with the Covington Emerald Heist mission. I played it a lot of times and I finally came up with a full stealth method that I'm very happy with. This is a quick and easy method. For those of you who are having trouble getting this, uh, solo maybe, trying to get the hat, this method might be for you. You only have to fire one arrow and you're in and out of there within 12 minutes if you do it correctly, depending on the train schedule and when it leaves. So without further ado, let's jump into the video and I'll explain as we go. In first order of business, let's get to the docks of St. Denis and locate the train. So you see we'll come around the back of the train at the docks here and the first building that you see on the right has an unguarded safe passage to where the prisoners are being held. Uh, you can keep an eye on the map and you can see the prisoners there as the two white blips. The first officer in the train car with the prisoners can safely be knocked out, as well as the next officer up on the flatbed ahead. But I like to hide his body just in case the officer patrolling on horse catches a glimpse of him laying there knocked out, uh, just to be safe. So far, so good. At this point, we'll have to wait for the train to depart, as the officers on the ground will see you knock out the officer on the train, on the flatbed. So we'll skip ahead to that. At this point, I like to wait for the train to leave far enough away from the guarded area that it is safe enough to dispatch of the guards on the train. At this point, you'll work your way up the train, stealthing the guards until you find the train card that holds the emerald. For me, in this run, it just happens to be the middle cart in front of me, uh, but you can see I spend a lot of time waiting because I believe that I had to wait until the wagon drivers pass, uh, but I don't think I had to do that, so you can spend this time working your way up and identifying which cart has the emerald. The hardest part is as soon as you identify which cart has the diamond, you need to dispatch two lawmen without being detected. When the diamond is located in the middle cart, this is the best method that I've found. As soon as you walk in, carefully hug the corner of this train cart, paint this officer's head, Walk towards the corner of this box. As soon as you reach the corner, release the arrow that you painted on the officer's head and immediately turn right to melee the next officer quickly. If done right, you should be able to do this full stealth, nab the diamond, and get out of there. If you've done it soon enough, you can use the water to cushion your landing, and we're going to wait under here until the train passes as there are guards further back on the train. Once you hear that the train has passed, you're safe to run up, call your horse, and calmly, if you want to, walk to the end point. I mean, I, I think there's a sweet spot for how much time you spend in the mission, so, you know, if you want to time yourself to make as much money as you possibly can, just take this time to, to calmly walk to the end of the mission point. And that's pretty much it. You got yourself a fancy new hat, and look at that. It was easy as shit. I mean, the hardest part is getting those officers, but I mean, if you follow that method, it's pretty solid. Just remember not to release the arrow until you get close to the edge of that box, or else you'll startle the other officer too soon, and he'll turn around and be able to see you. You have the emerald. Incredible. The look on Covington's face when he hears about this would be just as priceless. Until the next job, adieu.
And that's pretty much it for the video. I hope it helps some of you guys. Uh, leave a like if it did, drop a comment, let me know if you ended up snagging that hat because of this easy way. Or just let me know how you ended up getting it. Did you, were you able to full stealth it? Was it on another cart? Yeah, let me know all that stuff. And of course, a huge shout out to all of the channel members. Thank you guys. You'll see their names on screen now. And that's pretty much it. Until the next video, guys. Uh, we're going to be streaming more, hopefully, with the new weekly content. Fingers crossed. So, I mean, keep your eye out. Stick around for that. Until next time.